gooseberries. And me. It's gooseberry season. Gooseberries, Mama. Mommy can pick nuggets. For me. Let's see. <laughs> right now I'm going to have some beans. I'm going to stop. Welcome back to the homestead. Hope you all are doing well today. We here in Missouri are facing about a week and a half of unusually hot temperatures. Um, and I know many of you are probably facing the same thing. So I thought today I would share our top five healthy, refreshing drinks that we really enjoy on a hot day and help cool us down. Um, I'll start with the easiest and then work my way to the most involved. All right, before I get to those drinks, so I wanted to first quick share an update. Kip got the valves for the sprinklers, and so they're all installed. We're able to run two sprinklers at a time, and between the six sprinklers, probably 80% of our kitchen garden gets watered really well. So there's not a whole lot left for us to water by hand, and that is wonderful. Uh, so the first one is super simple. We like to use Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder. We like the uh, raspberry lemon flavor and it is so so simple you just mix a scoop into water stir it up it mixes in pretty nicely um, just with a spoon you don't have to have any kind of special equipment um, to get it to mix in and so that's super fast and if we've been working out in the sun sweating a lot that's our go-to because it's got the electrolytes to help replenish our bodies and there's no sugar in it it's sweetened with stevia so that's a quick and easy healthy uh, go-to drink when we need something quick. The next one is Dandy Blend. We drink Dandy Blend pretty much year round, but in the summertime when it's hot, um, I'll, I'll still make the hot drink in the morning, but a lot of times people won't even drink it, and so I'll pour the leftovers into just little uh, recycled jars, stick them in the freezer, and then by afternoon they're nice and cold and icy and refreshing. Um, sometimes we'll also accidentally leave our milk in the freezer for too long because we don't have a refrigerator so I fast chill our milk after milking the cow in the freezer and sometimes I leave it on just a little too long and it gets nice and icy uh, so we'll add dandy blend to that as well and uh, dandy blend's really nice because you don't really have to have a whole lot of sweetener to make it enjoyable we like to just add some stevia I often will add a little bit of raw honey as well but when it's mixed into the cold milk, all it needs is a little stevia and it's good to go. And it mixes really well into cold and hot drinks. So it's very versatile all year long. It's got some really neat health benefits because of the dandelion root that's in it. So we really enjoy that one. I pretty much always have a dandy blend on hand. I get dandy blend at Vitaclast. Um, it's one of the best price places. You might be able to find it somewhere else online, a little cheaper, but we get a lot of stuff from Vitacost, so I just always add that to the order every month. All right, the next one is strawberry lemonade. For that, uh, fresh lemons are best, but we don't often have fresh lemons on hand, so I use a not from concentrate lemon juice that we get at Costco. It's available in two packs for really inexpensive at Costco. So we just uh, usually fill up a container with water, a little bit of lemon juice and sweetener to taste. And then I use frozen strawberries and use a stick blender and blend up those strawberries. The frozen strawberries help make it nice and cold and refreshing. I forgot to mention that I also like to add just a little pinch of sea salt to the strawberry lemonade. 
and that helps to replenish some of the minerals lost when you're out there working hard and sweating. Mm -hmm. And there's no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, so it's a strawberry lemonade that's actually quite healthy. It does have a lot of carbs in it, but um, it's so refreshing. It's one of the favorites. All right, for the next drink, it takes a little bit of preparation ahead of time. I fill up a jar of water and add a little bit of stevia and raw honey to the water. Um, Right now our honey is actually crystallized, so it doesn't really look like honey, but it is. Um, so I mix the stevia and honey into the water, leaving a little bit of space up at the top of the jar. And that is for herbs. So this is cold pressed herbal tea, and we do it quite often. It does take a bit of time because we've got to go around and har we've got to go around and harvest and clean and cut up the herbs. But if I remember to get that jar in the freezer um, earlier in the day for the water to get nice and cold, um, remembering to put the honey in first because honey does not like to mix into super cold water, uh, then the rest is pretty easy. Um, gathering the herbs doesn't take too, too long. Once we're ready to have it, we gather, wash, and cut up the herbs. And uh, I put them inside the jar and stick it back in the freezer for at least 10 minutes, but it can go as long as you want, really. Uh, to get those herbs all infused into the super cold water. And then when you're ready to serve, you just need to have a strainer to strain out those herbs. So we've just got the little individual cup strainers that we use. The thing I love about these, the cold pressed herbal tea is because I know it's super, super nutritious and helps to support our immune systems and it's just got a lot of benefits and it's something that we grew ourselves. So even though it's a little bit more involved, takes some planning ahead to make, we do that quite often just because of the nutritional benefit we get from the herbal tea. And last but not least is Jun. Uh, Jun is a fermented drink that is similar to kombucha. It's got a lot of beneficial bacteria in it for the gut, really healthful, healthy probiotics for the gut. And it's something that is ongoing, that we make regularly to keep the whole thing going. In the winter time when our house is colder, I usually just make one batch per week. But in the summertime when it's warmer, um, it's ready in like three days. So anyway, John, John typically takes about three to five days, sometimes a little longer. So right now I actually have two um, gallon sized jars that I make John in. Once it's ready, I just strain it into a clean jar. And one of our favorite things to do is add wild blueberries to it to flavor it. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of stevia if it's not quite sweet enough. And then we like to mix that half and half with water. Uh, because for some people it can be quite strong. So half and half with water is kind of the perfect combination. And it's really nice when we put that jar in the freezer for a little bit first to really cool it down. Uh, you don't want to cool it down too much because you'll end up uh, destroying some of the beneficial bacteria, but it's really nice and refreshing and there's lots of ways you can flavor it. We just happen to always have wild blueberries on hand, but you could use fresh strawberries. Um, I've used a berry powder that I um, often have on hand lots of possibilities so or you could just drink it plain as well it's good that way but we like to flavor it with some kind of fruit 
So you obviously need to have a Jun Scoby, which is the weird pancake-like thing that <laughs> actually does the fermenting. I got mine on Etsy. I've been making it now for probably about eight months and it's um, grown tremendously. That's why I went from one gallon jar to now two and I probably could do four gallons at this point because the SCOBY just continues to grow and grow so then you can make more, you can share it. So anyway, in order to make the Jun, you need two cups of green tea, one cup of raw honey, and then you just fill up the jar the rest of the way with water and let it do its thing. So it is a commitment. It's sort of like keeping a sourdough starter going or um, kefir, kefir, something like that. It's anything that you have that's living like that, that's creating probiotics and good, good beneficial bacteria for the body is a ongoing project. You can't just make it once and then forget about it. <laughs> so it's a commitment. That's why I shared this one last because it does take some time, but it isn't that difficult. It's got some really cool benefits. It is fairly low carb because the beneficial bacteria ends up eating most of the honey <clears throat> that's in it. So it's not a super sweet. It's more like kombucha. <laughs> store-bought kombucha I know can be quite sweet, but if you get just a homemade kombucha, it's not going to be super sweet. Um, and that's why you can add some stevia or something to it in the end if you want it a little sweeter. The children really enjoy having that little bit of stevia in to make it a bit sweeter. So I think that's it. Those are five of our favorite healthy refreshing drinks that we enjoy when it's super hot out. If any of you have a recommendation, a drink that you enjoy, please share it in the comments below. Also, there's been some questions about Caleb's Etsy shop. Our children's channel, Thousands of Roots, they've announced that he's working on an Etsy shop and he ended up kind of abandoning that and instead he's working on developing a storefront on our website on the thousands of roots website um, he's made some really good progress that way and he's going to be integrating that shop with a print on demand shop that will allow us to have a lot more products available anyway as soon as that shop is up on our website we will let y'all know and just really excited about the neat products that he's designing um, esther pie is working on some paintings that she's going to offer there i might even do some painting in the future if i have time but anyway we're hoping it'll be a place that will offer some really neat items for y'all and be a blessing to you so stay tuned for that thank you so much to our patrons who make these videos possible you're awesome <laughs> We haven't been able to share much on Patreon lately because we've been so busy, but it looks like our heifer, Beauty, is about to have her first calf any minute now. So if we're able to get some of that on film, we're going to try and share that over on Patreon with you guys. So thanks for joining me in the garden. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Music.